Hi everyone, so this video is going to be a sequel for my um, most overhyped beauty products. This is the beauty products that I think are worth the hype. Now bearing in mind these aren't kind of all my favourite products, there are more, but these are the products that tend to um, be hyped in the beauty community, on YouTube and in magazines and that kind of thing, and people rave about them. So these are the ones that get thumbs up from the beauty world and um, I agree with that decision. So the first thing won't come as a surprise to you because you all know how much I adore this and it's the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. Um, this is a cream cleanser that is meant to be used in conjunction with a muslin cloth and it has eucalyptus and rosemary oils in it and it's very very nourishing, it takes off makeup beautifully and it just leaves your skin feeling really polished and really bright. It has a really brightening effect on your complexion and I absolutely love that. And um, it's got loads of lovely natural ingredients in it if you're interested in that kind of thing and um, let me know if you want me to do a full review of this and I will do one on my blog because I absolutely love this and um, everyone I know seems to adore this so this is definitely worth the hype. Then um, I've got a few kind of body products. The first one is the Bio Oil. Now Bio Oil is mainly kind of um, recognised for its ability to help fade stretch marks but it's also great for ageing skin, dehydrated skin and if your skin's just kind of feeling a little bit tight and a little bit dry this is amazing and I use this on my chest area where I get quite bad sun damage or on my oily skin on my face which can sometimes get a little bit dry this is great and it doesn't irritate it and it doesn't break me out it's a really lovely kind of emollient consistency and it is definitely worth the hype. Then I've got a couple of hair care products, one of which I have seemed to have misplaced somehow. But um, the Kerastase Binder Force Fortifying Shampoo, I absolutely adore. Um, and it just leaves your hair feeling really kind of clarified and really fresh. And the Kerastase hair care is kind of raved about in general because it is really, really amazing. But I absolutely love this shampoo. Then another thing that I absolutely love, which I haven't got in this video because I've forgotten to pick it up, is my um, my L'Oreal Elviv, um the hairspray, I can't think what it's called right now, the Elnet hairspray, sorry, not Elviv. Um How did I forget that? It's such an iconic product. But the best hairspray ever, I won't ever use anything else. I absolutely adore that and so many others do as well. And then the BO5 Miracle Concentrate, this is a leave-in treatment with argan oil and um, this is raved about on lots of beauty blogs and in the YouTube world because it is a kind of cheaper dupe for the Moroccan oil. Its ingredients aren't 100% pure and natural but it does give your hair that kind of lovely glossiness and a little bit of nourishment that we all crave, so I love that. Then I've got a couple of tanning products. Um, the first one is the Samaritz um, Mousse Tanner. The idea behind this is kind of like it's a dupe for saint and saint is very um, well loved. And I do love the saint bronzing mousse, but the Samaritz is cheaper and very similar in my opinion, so I tend to go for this one. I will do a full review of the saint range at some point for you. But um, this is a great tanner, fast drying, no streaks, and um, it's a very kind of famous one in the YouTube world, so I really love it. And then the next one is the Dove Summer Glow. This is for normal to dark skin. And um, this is what I'm wearing on my body right now, um, kind of look, if you can see. But um, this is a really, really lovely, lovely tanner, lovely scent does give quite a dark colour considering it's a gradual tanner and this is raved about in magazines all the time and I love it. Last but not least in that kind of category as well is the Clarins Beauty Flash Balm. I've forgotten to get mine to show you for some reason but um, the Clarins Beauty Flash Balm is amazing and I will do a full video about that at some point because it's a multi-purpose product and it's absolutely amazing. And also another thing that I love that I've just remembered is the Body Shop Body Butters. These are raved about everywhere because they're super duper moisturising. Your skin just will sink 
this up and um it's really really great for dry skin especially areas like elbows and feet that get really dry this is fabulous for them so that's that um i'm now going to move on to makeup and in terms of makeup i've got a few foundations that i think are definitely definitely worth the hype um, the first one is by MAC, and it's MAC's Face and Body Foundation. Now, if you're the kind of person who likes a very dewy finish, then this is a fabulous, fabulous foundation. It can be used in your face and body, which is why it's very, very popular with makeup artists and um, it's quite buildable but it gives a really dewy, your skin but better kind of look and I absolutely adore this. Then another product that I really, really love is NARS Sheer Glow. This was one of the first high-end foundations that I'd ever purchased and I absolutely love it. Um, it's very, very natural, it kind of illuminates your skin but still has lovely coverage at the same time and it's absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous product. Then another one that is kind of similar to NARS in a way is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. Um, I'm a little bit late on the bandwagon of this because I've only bought this recently, but this is an amazing, amazing foundation. It's what I'm wearing on my skin right now, and um, hopefully you can see it does give a really, really perfect but natural look, and that's everything I want in a foundation. And um, it says it's the perfectly glowing complexion. It is amazing, absolutely great, best drugstore foundation ever. Then um, a couple of kind of other makeup y items. We have the MAC Paint Pots. This one in particular is just in the shade Bare Study, but the MAC Paint Pots are very talked about on YouTube and they are absolutely amazing. If you want something to help your eyeshadows not crease, look no further. These are fantastic. Then um, Blushes, I've got a couple here. The Top Shop blushes, this particular one's in a shade called Pop. These are very popular on beauty blogs in the UK because they are very reminiscent, in my opinion, of the MAC blushes. It's a matte shade, but it's got a very kind of beautiful, creamy, um, not very powdery consistency, even though it is a powder blush. And I absolutely love these. They are amazing quality for the price, which is around six or five pounds. Then the Little Pots Bourgeois blushes are very famous in the kind of magazine world and um, you do need to be careful which ones you pick with these because I do feel like some of them are not overly pigmented but um, they are just very very pretty, give you a kind of gorgeous sheen and a really really beautiful kind of lifted um, cheek effect so these are really really great. Then um, a couple more products that I've got here, okay, um, the Fashionista blushes, which look like this. These are very raves about in the vlogging and YouTube world because they're the first drugstore brand that allows you to customise your palettes. So in this palette I've got Flush, Rose Thrill and Cinnamon and um, a gap for another one here which I keep meaning to pick up. But these are beautifully, beautifully pigmented. They've got a really lovely shade range. They do eyeshadows as well, which I have yet to try, but the actual um, blushes are fantastic quality, and I love the fact that you can customise your own blush palette. Next, I have a brush that is raved about on YouTube, and it's the Real Techniques by Samantha Chapman Buffing Brush, and this is an incredible brush for foundation. I apply my Bourjois Healthy Mix foundation with this. This is what I applied it with um, this morning, and if you can see, it is just the most flawless, flawless finish, and it just looks amazing, really, really beautiful, and really gorgeous quality, really soft, and um, I can't recommend this brush enough. It's amazing. <coughs> then I have a concealer. This is the Laura Mercier Secrets Concealer. And um, Laura Mercier um, concealers are kind of raved about anyway, but this is in the shade 3. It's kind of like a creamy concealer, very reminiscent of the Bobbi Brown creamy concealer. But um, this is absolutely fantastic for under eye circles and I have yet to met someone who has tried this and not loved it. 
Then I've got another product that is super famous on YouTube, and it's the um, Collection 2000's Lasting Perfection Concealer. The writing is rubbed off on this, which um, is quite common for this concealer. But I've done a blog post about this, which I will link in the description box for you, and it is absolutely amazing. Super coverage, very blendable. I'm wearing it under my eyes right now, and um, it is a really, really, really amazing drugstore concealer. And there's a reason that it's raved about so much on YouTube because it is amazing. Then I've got a lipstick right here, which is by Rimmel. And on YouTube, a lot of um, YouTubers like Beauty Crush and um, the Ugly Face of Beauty, I think it is, rave about Rimmel lipsticks, and they are really fantastic quality lipsticks. This is one of their colour show-off lipsticks in shade Shake It Up Pink. Just a lovely bright pink colour. I'm not wearing it right now, even though it kind of looks like that colour. Um, but Rimmel lipsticks are really, really nice quality lipsticks, and not what you'd expect for such an inexpensive brand. Then I've got a couple more little things right here for you. Um, one of the much loved um, products on YouTube are the Barry M nail paints. These ones are in shade Peach Melba and Strawberry. And they are really, really lovely, lovely nail polishes. Really creamy, really beautiful shade selection. They are two ninety nine, and you can get them in any Boots or Superdrug, and they are amazing. Possibly my favourite nail polishes ever, Barry M. Then another nail polish brand that I think deserves the hype are the Revlon nail polishes. This one is in Emerald City, and... Um, it's obviously just a representative of the kind of brands, but Revlon nail polish is a really, really lovely quality and very trend-driven colours. Then another product that people seem to adore on YouTube are the Sally Hansen nail polishes. This shade in particular is very famous and it's called Delphinium. And I know that um, Miss Glamorazzi loves this shade and with good reason. It's a beautiful kind of pale lilac-y pastel purple with a hint of grey in it and it's a really flattering shade. Really great quality nail polishes, apply beautifully onto the nails and the brush of these is fantastic as well. Um, I think that is it really. Um, one of the things I've just remembered too is the sleek blushes. Sleek blushes are incredibly, incredibly pigmented. Um, this is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today, and it's in the colour Flamingo. And these are incredibly pigmented, and I know that a lot of people on YouTube say that they're very similar to the NARS blushes. I watched a video a while ago where um, Goose Makeup Artist said that they were very similar to NARS blushes, and I think he is right. They are incredibly pigmented and very, very beautiful, and um, you need a tiny, tiny amount to get great colour payoff, so I love those. And I think that that is almost it. One thing that I do want to mention, however, that I think is definitely worth the hype is um, the MAC lipsticks. I've just got two here just for kind of to show you. The first one is Creme de Nude, and this one is Viva Glam Cindy. Um, I'm not talking about these particular shades. I just mean that MAC lipsticks in general are really, really lovely. And I will always love buying myself MAC lipsticks. They're just lovely packaging, really great quality, and just really, really nice products. And I love MAC lipsticks. Which brings me to another thing that I think is really, really worth the hype, and that is eyeshadows. I'm not a kind of, um, I'm sorry, the lighting's going crazy right now, isn't it? I'm not a kind of um, drugstore eyeshadow type of girl, really. I prefer higher-end shadows, and MAC are my absolute favourite. So these are my MAC eyeshadow palettes. If you want me to do a video about MAC eyeshadows, then let me know, or if you want me to kind of show you what's in my palette, let me know. But I absolutely love MAC eyeshadows. I think they're amazing quality, and the shades are amazing, and they've got loads of different finishes. And there's a reason that most... Um, YouTubers who make tutorials tend to use these in their tutorials like Pixie Woo and Pixie True because they are absolutely fantastic. 
And that being said, the other eyeshadows that I think are really, really great are the Naked Palettes by Urban Decay. I've picked the first one just because I think I kind of prefer this one. I've had time to play with both of them and I do prefer the first Naked Palette. But um, this is absolutely raved about on YouTube. Everyone on YouTube loves these and with good reason because they are absolutely amazing, amazing palettes and really great quality eyeshadows and really worth all the hype. So those are my products that I believe are worth the hype. Like I said, these aren't kind of my all-time favourite products. Um, I might do a video about that, but a little later on, because I have done one of those not that long ago. But these are the products that I think get mentioned a lot on YouTube, and like I said, in the beauty industry. And there is a reason they get mentioned this often, and the reason is they are amazing. So let me know what your most worth the hype products are, and so we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.